so let us come back and start discussing the next topic of your chapter solid solutions so basically till now what did we learn we tried to learn or first i given you the introduction then gradually i i went into a concept called uh, solubility and i also taught, taught you what is different what are the different types of solutions now later on i started with a concept called concentration units that is we have done different numericals based on molarity normality mole fraction formality on all those sets done after that we have uh, come to a topic called vapor pressure yes i also gave you the introduction for the topic what is the concept of vapor pressure <laughs> right so from that vapor pressure i gradually went into a topic called raoult's law so in raoult's law what did we learn whenever we have or if we are going to speak raoult's law in terms of two important concept what is that that is ps what is this ps <coughs> pressure of pure solvent the vapor pressure of pure solvent which is always directly proportional to the mole fraction of pure solvent that means that particular solvent so i have to say solvent so again vapor pressure of the solvent is directly proportional to the mole fraction of the solvent suppose if i take out this proportionality constant i am going to introduce vapor pressure of the solvent it is equal to p not s into xs now what actually is this this is vp of solvent this is vp of pure solvent this is mole fraction of solvent this is the condition this is what you have studied now there are again two conditions in this what are they suppose if i have to take a beaker now i have a beaker with me in this i have two conditions i said isn't it in case one if you have now i'm going to prepare a solution here in case two also in case two also i'm going to prepare a solution so now what is the difference in case one i'm going to take a prepare a solution where the solute is volatile and the solvent also is volatile this is the condition in case two the solute is non volatile and the solvent is volatile this is your condition you are going to study the vapor pressure variations in these two yes now when the solute is volatile and solute solvent is volatile not a problem isn't it the vapor pressure will be very high so we are going to study that concept first now then i'll come back to solute is non volatile and solvent is volatile hope you know what is volatile volatile is something which vaporizes non volatile is something which doesn't vaporize so i'm using the first condition here now let us erase now what did i say i have a particular i'm going to prepare a particular solution yes done this particular solution the we i'm going to start the condition with this i, I just now i said prepare a solution with <coughs> a solute and a solvent done both are liquids now when i take that liquid so first for example i'm going to take two volatile liquids i'm going to name that volatile liquid for the first suppose if i take for this that particular volatile liquid the first liquid i'm going to give or the mole fraction of that particular liquid according to raoult's it depends on the mole fraction so the mole fraction for liquid a i give the mole fraction as xa for mole fraction for liquid b i'm going to give as xb the pressure exerted by it i'm giving it as vapor pressure exerted by it i'm giving it as pa and the vapor pressure exerted by it i'm giving it as pb now at certain temperature <coughs> when i have to speak about its pure term the pure solvent and that particular uh, pure solvent is denoted by p not a and this is denoted by p not b now let's write again this is mole fraction this is if i say partial pressure of component a this is vapor pressure of pure component let us write the same here this is mole fraction this is partial pressure of component okay partial pressure of component b this is vapor pressure of pure component b so this is my basic uh, information 
Now what happens? Let us apply the basic information to Raoult's law and see how on what is the pressure varying. Let, let us erase everything and see. Now I have got the information. Now let's start. According to Raoult's law, what did we write according to Raoult's law? We have written P S is equal to P naught s into xs this is what we have written now i have two components isn't it let us write for both instead of ps this becomes pa this becomes p not a this becomes xa here pb p not b into xb simple now what is the total pressure total pressure is equal to p total okay total pressure i have written it is equal to pa plus p Gradually nothing. We are trying to prove how what is the vapor pressure, uh, the total pressure depending on. That's it. So just add both. So if I'm adding, <coughs> now I'm writing P total is equal to P naught A XA plus P naught B XB. Now this is your total pressure. Done? Yes. Now we very well know according to our, this one when we calculated the bowl fraction, we said xa plus xb is equal to 1 correct now let's see i can if i have to write now suppose if i'm picking up xa this becomes 1 minus xb condition is this now wherever you have xa i can substitute this value isn't it yes let's substitute that value so p is equal to p naught a 1 minus xb plus p naught b xb simple done now let us further convert p naught a minus p naught x b plus p naught b x b now just see x b i'm taking x b as common because you have uh, terms here how can i write it write this again so p naught a is here only i am taking total of x b common so when I take this term, this becomes plus <coughs> P naught B. This comes this side. Yes. Now just see plus into minus minus. This plus is here. This plus. This has become minus. The same quantity, isn't it? So now what are you finding? Your total pressure is dependent upon or this the particular uh, the total vapor pressure is dependent upon the comp mole fraction yes let's prove in the other way suppose if i have the same condition here let me take p is equal to p naught a x a plus p naught b x b now what am i going to do here in, now i know x a plus x b is one now suppose if i take x b out what do i get one minus x a now substitute x b value as one minus x a and see p is equal to p naught a x a this is what i substituted instead of x b now let us further write this yes done now you have xa and xa term similar let us uh, get that out and make it common so i'm getting getting this p naught p here now plus bracket mm -hmm. here xa i'm taking it as common yes so when you when i take uh, this on the other side this comes here this becomes p naught a this is here minus p naught b let us see whether i've written correctly or not plus into minus this minus p naught x a p naught b x a this plus is here only this p naught b is in plus term correct so what are you finding in both the cases when i'm trying to conclude the whole concept most important thing your pressure suppose if i take this as one case one here i'm taking this as case two so what is p basically p p is the total pressure the total pressure is dependent or it depends on your first case one when i take xb in second case also this directly depends on xa 
both are same i've just substituted both are equivalent yes so most important thing you have to say the vapor pressure is a linear function of the mole fraction that is the most important thing so we'll be drawing a graph and i'll be showing how are they related so from this particular thing when i take the solute as volatile what conclusion i am coming back to i am going to write important line here is a linear function of mole fraction this is very important then only i can make you draw the ideal graphic ideal uh, solutions graph and non ideal solutions graph so please note it no confusion nothing simple logic pick up this volatile both should be volatile then only this will work if it is non volatile this will again show positive and negative deviations